So it is January 2nd. Happy New Year. So I realized it's actually Monday, January 3rd. So still, Happy New Year. And much like this grumpy cat, today's video is going to be a mini rant. It is the new year and I want to start off the year right. And for many people, this is the beginning of your financial journey. And for others who've already well along their way, then this is just rebalancing and thinking about what, what your goals are in terms of your financials for this year. So I'm here to tell you, don't let other people or services manage your money. And by people, I mean wealth advisors or financial professionals. And by services, I mean investing platforms like Wealthfront or Betterment or any of the other robo-advisors or even some of the more traditional financial platforms like Vanguard or Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, any of the banks, Charles Schwab, who have their own automated investing services. And there are a couple reasons for that. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt myself really quick to say these services aren't inherently bad. I'm not saying don't use them at all. In fact, I use Wealthfront for financial aggregation and to get a sense of my net worth and how all my accounts are doing. And I use Vanguard for my long-term investing in the brokerage and Roth IRA that I have there. And so these services can be great. Just use them to manage your money, but don't let them do the management because usually whenever they're gonna manage your money, they'll charge a fee for that. Okay. Let's get back to the video. We were talking about why not to use these management services. The biggest one is that these services charge a hefty fee, and these fees range from 0.15% and 0.35% all the way to 1% to 2%. And I know some hedge funds charge even more, even though most hedge funds are out of reach for people like you and me. You have to have a lot of dough to invest in them. And the second reason is these funds and people aren't doing anything different than what you could do by yourself. They're ultimately charging you a fee just to give you some peace of mind, but what they're doing on the back end is exactly what I can teach you or you can teach yourself. And think about it for a minute. If these funds truly did something different or had some knowledge that you didn't, some secret sauce, or they continuously outperformed the market, then why would they be opening their arms to you and letting you invest with them? It is 100% for profit. But for 99% of people, or the average person like you and me, you're not really getting much for that fee you're paying. And for 99% of these services, they're actually not outperforming the market. There's a lot of research that shows they might beat the market some years, but they're definitely not beating it consistently. And if you're not beating it consistently, then I don't care if you beat the market this year. I'm all about holding, and so I care what the 10-year average return is, and most of these funds don't. Because think about it, if they did, then why would they be sharing the secret sauce with you? They'll just be making themselves and their family and friends rich. Another way to think about it is Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. It makes sense for them to have professionals and tax advisors and people they pay money who know the tax code really, really well to save them some tax dollars and find some loopholes. But for you and me, the tax code is pretty self-explanatory. You're in some bracket, you pay the tax. There really isn't anything else to it. Now, I totally understand you might say, well, it's the convenience. You know, even if I know the same thing that someone else knows, I'd rather pay them to just do it for me. And that's totally cool. It is kind of overwhelming. And unfortunately, a lot of the UI and UX of these platforms aren't the best. And it's not that you need financial literacy, it's just you need a little bit of practice with figuring out what all the buttons are and what all the words mean. And it takes a little bit of time but I would still urge you to learn at least once. I'm a huge proponent of learning how to do something yourself once so you know what it is and no one can ever take advantage of you and then paying someone to make your life a little bit easier. And so if there's anything you get out of this video, it's either do everything by yourself or at least do everything once. And then as you grow in your financial career, you start becoming wealthier and you might need some of that extra help or you just don't have the time, then 100% pay someone to do it for you. I'm all about using money to make your life better. But, with all that said, there's a couple reasons I think you're actually really well equipped to manage your money yourself. The first reason is because you're smart. And I know you are. You have street smarts, you're educated. You have all the knowledge you need, all the little bits and pieces. You just need to know how to piece them together. And two, it's really not that hard. The recipe is pretty simple. You don't need to be a professional baker to follow a simple brownie recipe. In the same way, you don't need to be a financial advisor from some Ivy League, you've taken like 25 exams, you're SEC certified. You just need to know a little bit. 
And three, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. And so hopefully by this point in the video, I've convinced you that you should not be giving your money to people or services. You just need to listen to me and follow the steps. And so if you're interested in starting your financial journey and automating your investing and setting the building blocks to one day be really wealthy and retire with enough to sustain you and have a nice prosperous life, then follow along because I'll be posting a lot of videos on exactly how to do so. Till then, cheers.